Hello there my friends, today I'm here with a very very exciting video. I'm going to share with you all my favorite thrift finds from 2016. I collected them all here, it's a huge mess around me, but I'm prepared to show you everything. It's kind of like a huge thrift haul, but it includes only the stuff that I totally absolutely love to pieces. I'm going to start with clothes, then go to accessories and home decor. So if you don't want to look at the clothes, you can skip to accessories, etc. The first item you might have seen in my last lookbook. This is this amazing denim jacket by a brand called Ralph Lauren. It has this plaid material inside. The actual jacket is made with this light wash denim. It is size S, but it looks pretty oversized. So I was thinking maybe this is men's jacket. So I really, really dubbed it. I think maybe it's just the design of this particular model. It has these two sides of buttons and this beautiful collar. I wore it so many times we had so much history created already i took it to florida it was all covered in a caramel from baklava cheesecake that we got in chattanooga i was so devastated i was so scared this is not gonna come off but we came home and it did I also put these cute little pins on the collar that I found in the antique store. Each of them kind of represents something meaningful for me. For example, a little house. I'm a pretty home person, always have been. Next thing is a Bambi. I adore deer and you know about that. Bambi especially. A pretty little palette with paint. I love painting, I told you about that. And this little purple tulip. I also really love tulips and I mean flowers in general. I'm a girl after all. <laughs> so yeah, this was this jacket and the pins. So good. Love it. I think I'm going to tell you I love it after every single item. The next item I thrifted in autumn and this was my most favorite sweater in autumn and winter. How amazing is it? This is how it looks like. I am going to add close-ups. You will be able to see everything properly. This is the brand called Portraits by Northern Isles. It is knitted by hand and actually had a tag on, so it was brand new when I got it. It is size XL, so it's obviously pretty big on me and baggy, but it is perfect because I wear it like a dress with beautiful burgundy tights. It looks just amazing. I'm definitely going to show you this look. And of course, the main thing that took my heart was this cute little fox. Just, just how could I resist that? This is the most beautiful piece of art I've found this year, I think. The next item I got just before New Year's Eve and it already took place in my top 16. How awesome is that? And this is this very long wool burgundy vest. I love burgundy color, as you probably already know. I was actually looking for vest like that. It's basically like a coat without sleeves. It's perfect. It still has tag on so I wasn't wearing it yet. I'm waiting for spring because it's very cold right now and wearing this under another coat is not an option. I love these little buttons. I think they're so beautiful. The brand is called Sag Harbor. From the look at this, I'm pretty sure it's a vintage item. I love vintage stuff. The next thing might not be in everybody's taste, but I was looking for something like this and when I found it, I fell in love. I was looking for a shirt with a lace-up collar, you know, like the those ones that were super popular this summer. Here's what I found this autumn. It is so beautiful, it's in the perfect condition and of course it's amazing combination of colors. This lace is very soft, velvety kind of material and the actual shirt I think is cotton. It feels very nice. It also has these beautiful patches on elbows. I adore them. It's large size, so it's pretty big on me, but I kind of like it. I don't like when things are tight. It was even on sale when I got it like 50% off. It was waiting there for me for sure. And the next thing is also vintage. I actually bought it in Nashville. When we couldn't find any dinner with music, I decided to go to the thrift store. Because what? That's how we deal with stress, right? <laughs> I was on a hunt for a beautiful dress I could wear for my birthday. I found one. It is this beautiful navy blue with white polka dots dress. It has amazing fluffy it has amazing collar and it has amazing bottom that looks like this. It literally enhances every single quality that I have, even though I don't think I have any. 
it still enhances them shows the breast a little bit just tiny little bit kind of shows the waist there somewhere and beautifully lies on hips so i was wearing it several times when we were in florida and i'm planning to wear it this summer as well the other thing is not actually a thing it's a category and this category is called flannels i don't think i need to add anything to that because you know i love flannels who doesn't love them and when you find a beautiful perfect flannel in a thrift store it definitely goes to your top 16 and the first one you might have seen in one of my videos and this is this burgundy beautiful flannel with burgundy silver buttons i'm not gonna talk a lot about it the next one is this beautiful white with cream and gray bluish plaid on it it's one of my best finds ever i think it's also a really nice size so it doesn't look too huge on me i was actually wearing it with just creamy leggings a couple times even like that it looked pretty awesome so i never wear leggings just out also look at this buttons they're like cream and chocolate how amazing is that and the last one is this blue hockey one it's really cute as well and it also has this cream chocolate buttons who would believe that it's actually men's H&M shirt but it fits perfectly and it fits so many other things I have different kinds of t-shirts and scarves I love it I know I know I promise not to say that but I can't resist I'm sorry <laughs> next thing doesn't have brand on it and it actually was a funny purchase because it was half a surprise for me basically what happened I got this beautiful skirt in a thrift store and I was so excited it looked so amazing and then it became even better when I came home. Can you guess why? Because it's a skirt. I was so surprised and so excited. I've never ever owned skirt. I can tell you that this is greatest invention ever. It is so beautiful, it is so comfortable to wear and it again enhances only my good qualities. I was wearing it with a black top underneath, this part was on the waist with black sandals and it was a perfect look. I wore it to meet and greet of Shane Dawson and a couple times in Florida as well. I am definitely going to wear it more. The next thing I definitely showed you in my summer thrift haul so I'm not going to talk a lot about it and these are these floral shorts I absolutely loved them when I got them and I still absolutely love them the last clothing item is actually pretty simple it's probably even weird to show you but I was so excited to find them oh my god and these are these black jeans I know black jeans like what <laughs> I think I mentioned that I always always have trouble finding jeans that fit me well and I kind of end up just wearing jeans from Target because they fit the best but these jeans are actually from Talbots. I was so so happy about that also they're not boyfriends like the type I usually wear they are called slim ankle ones this type actually fits me even better than boyfriends I would think they're very comfortable they look great and I couldn't just not show you them here yeah I basically wear them every single day since the day I bought them in autumn I think that tells a lot so let's move to accessories there is not a lot but there are some really nice things first of all there are these two Two bags let's start with this one this is black patchwork little crossbody bag I was on a hunt for a black crossbody bag that I could just take throw my passport my phone in it and it would fit any outfit that I have or almost any I found this one in Goodwill it's perfect it's vintage it just clips like this with this little thingy here it was in the perfect condition I'm pretty sure this is an actual leather it's very durable and and it's very very convenient and cute look how cute it is it's so cute <laughs> Here is the second bag that I was absolutely loving this year. It's actually a brand called Coach. Yeah, pretty fancy bag. It was actually $15 and I was not going to buy it because I never spent that much in a thrift store on one item. But it was my lucky day, 25% off for VIP members and so I got it for $11 and I am so happy I did that. I completely forgot the word you call this kind of bags, you know, with the handle. Tell me in the comments <laughs> if you remember that. This is again a crossbody bag. 
It is made from 100% genuine leather. As you probably know, I get leather only from thrift stores because it's basically recycled. It closes on this little lock right here. It is very soft inside. There is enough space for a bunch of things. It has pocket. And yeah, I actually got a compliment about it in Target when I was there in December. <laughs> And I always love when people tell me compliments randomly just somewhere in the stores. This totally makes my day every single time. <laughs> the next thing is basically a necklace and not really. <laughs> I was looking for this kind of tie for a long time. I either couldn't find any or I would find something that I don't really like. And then I found this one and it's just so me. It's perfect. I love that it is made with this brown leather and the actual thingy right here is made from wood as well as these drops on the end usually this part is made from metal you know they look good but i love how unique this one is this is what made me buy it with no dumps at all and the last accessory are this beautiful little leaf earrings i usually don't wear gold color like this kind of like this antique gold these earrings completely made me fall in love with them I love that they have these little white beads on the top as well. They look like they would cost a lot of money in some kind of gallery store. They are so simple, but so magnificent at the same time. This is basically all I can tell. Now let's talk about home decor. I'm going to show you what I can show you, but most of the things are just standing around the house and they're too heavy to move here and lift up. I was trying so hard not to buy mugs this year because my husband gets pretty pissed off by that. One day I actually had to go and buy a mug secretly because I just didn't want to tell him that I wanted it. So I didn't thrift a lot of mugs, but I thrifted the best ones. And the first one is this. I love it. <laughs> I actually bought it at the same thrift store and at the same day that my leather tie necklace. That was the best haul ever. It's actually from Starbucks, from the old collection. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that I'm collecting Starbucks mugs from thrift stores, not from Starbucks. <laughs> this is my favorite way to buy those mugs. It's just absolutely gorgeous. It's white with these strokes of paint that are brown and orange. This bottom is brown and matte. Yeah. The second mug is this one and it's kind of mug slash bowl for soup. It's so big, but I actually love big mugs. I absolutely love this floral pattern. It's so cute. It's beige with some blue in it. It looks so vintage. I'm pretty sure it is, though it doesn't say anything on it. It just says that it is made in Japan. Kind of makes it even more precious for me. <laughs> Let's just talk really quick about things that I got for home that are standing around me. The first amazing find was actually so lucky. It's one of those situations where you are going on a hunt for something and you find something you were not even hoping to find right at that day, right at that one place you went to. Basically, the story is that we moved to this house and it has a big dining area, but we didn't own any tables or any chairs and it was just empty and sad. Plus, my parents were coming, so we wanted to have this place set so we can have dinners and breakfast there together. The table was not that hard to find, we just kind of got the first one that was at least a little bit pretty. It's not an actual wood, we didn't really care about that. Color is really nice, it's kind of like chocolatey. That color completely, absolutely fitted the chairs we found after that. The chairs, I love them. So we went to Goodwill, saw those chairs right away. They were basically $60 all together because we went there on sale. I couldn't even believe that they were still there. I definitely saw a woman who was glancing at them right in front of my face. But I basically sat down on them and I was like, I'm not going anywhere. These are my chairs now. <laughs> Anyway, these are amazing, very, very heavy chairs. Most of them is made from metal, so that's why. But this cute little beige brown cushions, amazing carved pattern on the back. 
every time somebody comes to visit us they ask us where we caught these chairs the other greatest find was our table lamp here it is gorgeous chocolate brown lamp it's so simple but it's so perfect at the same time the last couple of things that i was so happy about were actually for my bathroom my bathroom is probably my most favorite room in the whole house because i decorated it in a way i really like first thing is this little cute vase that looks like a milk bottle and it says leave on it with a beautiful cursive this little detail this coral pink top was the detail that made me buy it all my bathroom is in this coral pink color at the same place i found this beautiful fake peony that i just put in there and they were never separated then the next thing i found was this little square glass jar where i put my cotton discs it's pretty simple but just what i was looking for the top of it the lid is very pretty closes very tightly which is really nice i think that's it and it's getting very dark i'm sorry tell me in comments which of my finds was your favorite and also you can tell me what was your favorite find in 2016 I'm really curious to read about that. Thank you so very much for watching. Don't forget to leave likes and subscribe and leave me comments down below. I feel great after talking to you. Bye!